Hi, so this is topic 2.1 on resources and reserves. And let's start with just the, the definition of what a resource is. So a resource is a stock or supply of materials that are available in a given context. So it's essentially a um, something, that, a material that you would use in manufacture, in um, as raw materials, that kind of thing. Um, and it's a stock or supply, so it's something that you have available in a given context. So for instance, you know, in the middle of the desert, you may not have ice as a resource, right? Because in that given context, there is no ice. Uh, but in Antarctica, there's plenty of ice. So in that context, there's a large resource uh, stock. Um, this video does a really good job of explaining what a resource is and looking at the two types that we're going to look at, which is a non-renewable renewable and non-renewable. So let's look at renewable resources. So re renewable resources is a natural resource that can be replanted with the pass uh, replenished uh, with the passage of time and does not abate at all. So um, this is something that that naturally um, gets uh, regrows basically. So an example of that might be softwood. So softwood trees can be uh, replaced quite quickly. Some some grow very quickly. So for instance, uh, this fir tree right here um, can be replaced quite quickly uh, within a reasonable amount of time. And, and that's the key word here is the, the reasonable amount of time. Um, whereas some of the hardwoods, like this is mahogany. Mahogany is a really beautiful wood and it's a, a very slow growing tree. And once you cut down a mahogany tree, it, it really is difficult for it to regrow in any reasonable amount of time. It takes hundreds of years to regrow to a, a large sized tree, whereas a, a fir tree will take, you know, decades, a couple couple decades to grow to something that you can harvest. So this is renewable and this would be non-renewable. So non-renewable resources, and again this is the definition you need to know, is a resource, a natural resource that cannot be remade or regrown and does not naturally reform at a rate that makes uh, its use sustainable. So, you know, an example of this might be something like coal. Coal is a, a non-renewable resource. It's made from dead plants uh, that died in a coal swamp millions and millions of years ago. And so that's not something that we're going to be able to replenish in any reasonable amount of time. Uh, petroleum, uranium, helium, natural gas, all of these are examples of, of uh, na non-renewable natural resources. This is a kind of interesting um, video about helium. So helium is something that, that you might not think of as a non-renewable resource, but it's something that, yeah, we're going to run out of at some point um, if we don't manage it well. And so uh, this video is going to show you some interesting um, data about helium and how it's stored. Okay, a reserve. So a reserve is are the natural resources that have been identified in terms of quantity and quality. So basically, a reserve is the amount of, uh, of a resource that a country will have. Um, and usually what we talk about is something called proven uh, reserves. And, and this is something that can be recovered, right? So it's, it's essentially a reserve is usually has something to do with recoverability. It's, some, it's something that you can actually get out of the ground. And this is an interesting example. It's called rare earth metals. And these are super important to... Um, Electronics. Uh, an example of one is this uh, nio niodidium, um, which is uh, used in magnets. And so, anytime you have a, a, an electric motor, you're going to want to use these neo sorry it's neodymium magnets. Um, and so, you can watch this video on neodymium. It's a uh, it's a rare earth metal. Um, if you look at where these uh, reserves are, you can see that China has a huge proven reserve of these. Um, so they have a, a very large natural resource. It's non-renewable because you can't make more of it. But they have a huge, huge, huge um, reserve. Of it. And then Australia is the next biggest, and then and then the U.S. And then here are the other countries that have uh, large um, rare earth metal production. But that that that's an interesting um, reserve that is very important for the um, current economy. Um, you could also talk about oil and gas uh, being a reserve or coal or iron or whatever. So anything that, that any resource, you know, Saudi Arabia has a very large oil reserve. Um, the United States has a very large oil reserve, whereas China does not have a very large oil reserve. Russia has a very large oil reserve. Australia does not have a very large oil reserve. Um, so different different countries have different reserves within their uh, um, within their country's borders. Okay, and that's recoverable natural resources that have been identified but maybe not exploited yet. 
Um, this, by the way, is another video you can watch about rare earth, rare earth elements, and uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay, um, renewability is the level at which a resource is renewable and the rate that a resource can be replenished. So, you know, an interesting uh, example of this is fish. How renewable are fish? Well, if we leave them alone and they, they're allowed to recover, they can actually be quite renewable. But um, in the past, we haven't been great about uh, doing that and, and we've been overfishing. So there's an issue with something called overfishing or over exploitation of a particular resource. Um, so uh, renewability relates to a resource that can be replenished over time or is inexhaustible. The sunlight, for instance, would be an example of something that is definitely renewable because this, we're not going to run out of sun anytime soon. I mean, yes, the sun has a shelf life and it will um, it'll explode at some point, but you know, in the in the meantime, it's within you know a reasonable amount of time. The sun's going to be shining uh, on the earth for essentially ever, as far as we're concerned. Um, hardwood resources we talked about this earlier. They can be considered non-renewable um, if their extraction of the resource ceased, and the um, they're considered non-renewable. They could be renewed if we stopped actually cutting them down, and so th this would be an important way to to replenish our hardwood resources, which we're not doing a great job of. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching.